for in the past uh, treatment for hepatitis C was uh, a year long with interferon ribavirin full of side effects and the first generation protease inhibitors had a lot of drug-drug interactions. So uh, now with the new direct acting antivirals we can have high cure rates of more than 90% <coughs> and uh, have almost no side effects and a limited time of treatment on average 12 weeks. So this uh, has changed the game. Uh, we have first to discuss whether and how hepatitis C treatment can prevent cancer. And this is particularly relevant in those with uh, liver cirrhosis, because patients with liver cirrhosis at a rate of approximately 5% per year develop cancer. Then we uh, can show already that in those patients where we do curative therapies like surgery, radiofrequency ablation, that there, if we have cleared the hepatitis C virus, that then the risk of recurrent disease is decreased. Then, where we are missing data is patients with palliative treatment for advanced disease, like advanced cancer, like uh, concomitant decompensated cirrhosis. Here, we know a little about the impact of whether and what impact hepatitis C clearance has on, on, on liver cancer. Here we have to collect data. Then on hepatitis C and transplantation and cancer, this is an interesting issue because in the past reinfection has been universal and uh, recurrent hepatitis C had a uh, very um, inferior outcome compared to other indications for liver transplantation and therefore nowadays the approach to prevent reinfection and those who got reinfected in the past and still are alive, that there we clear the virus. So I think the first aim has to be to get the hepatitis C population after transplantation free of hepatitis C and to prevent reinfection.